Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, what's really happening to your body during a hangover? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. As we all know, hangovers are a punishment from the gods for having too much fun the night before. But there's also a more scientific explanation for each specific agony we experience the morning after. The vomiting, for example. This happens because alcohol causes the stomach to drain twice as slowly as it otherwise would, meaning it's still full of beer and vodka when you wake up. Combined with the way alcohol irritates the stomach lining, increasing acid release, you've got a recipe for a full-blown booze-scented chunder. The puking I can handle. It's the headache that kills me. The headache is a direct result of dehydration. Alcohol suppresses the release of vasopressin, the hormone that tells your kidneys to retain fluid, which is why you pee like a racehorse when out drinking. (laughs) If you don't follow each drink with a large glass of water, you're going to end up very dehydrated. And when that happens, the volume of blood in your body drops. Wait, what? Why? The human body is about 60% water, and blood is one of the largest reservoirs. In order to maintain a steady level of blood pressure once the amount of blood drops, your blood vessels narrow. Unfortunately, this tightening also restricts the flow of blood and oxygen to the brain, so the brain tries to compensate for this by dilating the blood vessels there, leading to swelling and a please-just-kill-me-now splitting headache. How come I'm always exhausted the day after drinking, even though I spend most of the night passed out with people drawing penises on my forehead? The problem with drunk sleep is that it's not the right kind of sleep. A study in 1998 found that alcohol decreases the amount of time you spend in REM sleep, that is, rapid eye movement sleep, the most restorative kind, and instead you go quickly into deep sleep. So even though you appear to be sleeping soundly, you're still going to be tired the next day. Another reason is that alcohol is metabolized by the liver into a toxic compound called acetaldehyde, which is similar to formaldehyde. According to a 2007 study by the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, when administered to lab animals, this chemical leads to incoordination, memory impairment, and sleepiness. So, can I just sleep off a hangover? Will that cure it? It's unlikely. The diuretic nature of alcohol means you'll probably keep waking up to pee, disturbing your rest. You're much better off giving your liver what it needs to metabolize the alcohol, namely the enzyme thiamine, which can be found in eggs, beef, and oranges. If you can stomach a plate of steak and eggs with a glass of orange juice, that's going to help a lot more than a quick nap. How come I sometimes feel really bummed out and anxious when I have a hangover? That's because of something called glutamine rebound. In other words, the drinker experiences the opposite symptoms to those produced by the alcohol the night before. The reduction in anxiety that you experience when drunk gives rise to heightened anxiety and irritability the next day. That's a relief. I thought it was because I took all my clothes off, stole my boss's car, and crashed it into an alpaca farm. Um... Anyone for a mimosa? Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to DollarShaveClub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.